Up in the North Woods lives a man, completely self-reliant and detached from society. His name is Darf. Hello. This is a story starting in the Vietnam War of which he was a decorated soldier. Darf returned back to a society that didn't want him. So he decided to no longer be a part of that society and he moved up to the North Woods to be alone. He made his own cabin from trees he cut down. And he also made moonshine from a still that he made by himself. A young student filmmaker set out to make a documentary on this rebel moonshiner. Well, uh, first of all, I want to thank you, Mr. Darf, um, for letting me onto your property today without shooting me. And, uh, well, I'm from the university and I'm making a documentary here about uh, moonshining uh, for my sophomore thesis. And I was uh, wondering if you could let, let us know a little bit about that process. What? Moonshining? Yeah. Yes, Mr. Darf. I'd like to, to know a little bit about moonshining. I think we all would like to know a little bit about the process. Sure. Moonshining is simple. First, you just get yourself a nice hot fire, boil up the kettle, boil up the mass. That's going to run down the tubes. That's going to run down her lines into the barrel where she's going to cool herself off. Put it up in the jug. And then the jug put it up in me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Well, um, wonder, wonderful. I'm, I'm glad we're all a little bit more enlightened uh, about that. Um, but isn't, Mr. Darf, isn't moonshining dangerous? It's, it's a very highly flammable material. Uh, I mean, where do you, if you make so much moonshine, where do you store it all? Well, I never store it up in the house because, well, that's, that's just real flammable. That's asking to get you, yourself blown the kingdom come. <laughs> I keep it out back in the barrels. Mark X, X, X. Yes, I saw him when I was walking up to the house. Uh, so you just leave it outside? Uh, doesn't it evaporate or, uh, you know, don't? Well, I'll tell you what, sometimes them jugs do go empty because, you know, moonshine attracts teddy bears. Teddy bears? Yeah, teddy bears. I set out the moonshine because it attracts teddy bears. That's how I make all my money. Are you serious? Yeah. I make the moonshine and I set it out. Then the teddy bears, they smell the moonshine. They come on out through the woods. I just line up my rifle. Bam! Got me a teddy bear. Then I take her out and I gut her. I take out all the guts and I put stuffing in it. And that's how all the amusement parks get them big old teddy bears. That's from me. Teddy bears is taxidermy. Sure enough, as night fell, teddy bears started to creep onto the property as they smelled the sweet, sweet moonshine made by Darf. Last night proved to be a good night for Darf. Teddy bear business will be booming. First go, cut that hill, uh, cut that right up in there, so pull out some of that bear, the meat, and pull that right out there, and get that all out of there. Next, we got to take that open right there, and we'll stuff that right
Wow. Uh, well, uh, so this 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 uh, interview has really gone from uh, about a man who makes moonshine to a, a man who ma makes teddy bears. Uh, how long you are you planning on keeping up your business here? I mean, that's quite an endeavor to keep on making moonshine teddy bears. Well, I'll admit it gets tiring, and you know sometimes it's dangerous and and lonely. So I figure I'll just go for the one big last one right there. The one big last teddy bear? Yep, the king of them all, Theodorus. He's the king of the teddy bears. He lives up in the north woods in a big giant <laughs> And I figure I want to make a batch big enough to attract Theodorus himself. I figure the fumes will waft up into the mountains and he'll smell it when he comes down. Well, that'll be the biggest teddy bear that any man ever did make. <laughs> wow. Um, I really, well, hope you get Theodorus then. Mr. Why don't you stick around? You can film me do it. Oh, that would be wonderful. I think that'd be some great material for me. I'll, I think I'll do that. Well, I guess y'all put on the coffee, Dan.